Lots going on here at the Vivo Rio Pro presented by Corona. We are in heat number two of the round of 16 where we have our 2019 world champ and Olympic gold medalist Italo Ferreira coming up against Rio Waida, the first Indonesian ever to qualify for the championship tour. And here we go. We're going to start with Bravo, Italo Ferreira. Oh, beautiful. Down carve there by Ferreira, snaps it up in the lip. He's been warming up and it looks like he's coming in hot strider. <laughs> that was so fun, so easy for him. Great, great technical surfing here. Yeah, I really like this first turn too, guys. Holds it for a long time. And as you said, the little board sliding right there at the end for Italo. Should it be a hefty score? I mean, just especially looking at the last heat Kaipo where we only saw oh. a couple of fives. This no doubt much better than that, especially when you consider how clean the face of the wave was. Love how long he was able to hold the rail on that turn though, and then comboed it up. Nice turn into the lip right there for the former world champ, especially coming off of a poor result over there at Punta Roca. He's looking to have a major bounce back here, Kipes. Yeah. Number just clocks in for Italo Ferreira, a 7.83. Ferreira is gonna get a chip in here. Ribs on the face, but that one had way too much turbulence, Mitch. Yeah, and that was a big wave too uh, on the outside, and it's pulling them back out every single second of time out there in the water. He has a rebate here, Kipes. Nice little rebate on the inside here. Ferreira looks down the line, searching for a ramp, finds it, flops it up in the air right around. Air reverse for Italo Ferreira, continuing momentum down the line. Some froth to deal with. Takes it straight to the face there, no problem, and he's gonna ride out of that, back in that 7-8-3, and getting the crowd riled up on the beach. He's giving him chicken skin, look him. How is this Strider, check just, it out. I mean, it's just, you could see him telegraphing, knowing it was coming, but the, the amount of distance <laughs> that he threw on that air was ridiculous. He, he flew 20 feet across the lip line, landed, and there, you know, I know there's all this talk about uh, wave pools and, and wave systems and, and, and giving yourself the reps, but that wave <laughs> was, it was three times the size of any wave in a wave pool. So like doing it on a, on a bigger wave like that is, is so technical, it's so hard, and finding a, a, a ramp and a landing place, I mean, this is just super, impressive beautiful work harnessing the power Dang. and then look at how boned out tail high like this is what we came for and i am so stoked to get to see this right now because this is making us all smile as he did on that first wave will he top that 7.83 mitchell i think so J just due to the radical nature of the maneuver the progression and we haven't necessarily seen an air today and that not only was an air it was a radical air too kaipo yeah, I'm going excellent. Yeah. <laughs> but you know what? It's easy for me to, to say that because like, just when you see something like that in my mind. Here he goes again. Now what's he got for us? Skitter through that. You can see uh, the troubled water of this. Looking for a ramp. Hydroplaning through a couple of flat sections and the forced straight air. No harm, no foul. Itala Fur will still have a giant lead over Rio Waida. Well, but you know what? Let's see it. Come on, Rio. Here we go. Oh. Priority with Rio Waida. He looks yep. like interested in this one. He's going to activate. Rio, looking down the line. Banks off that section. Comes around the corner here. Mm. Nice carve off the top. Staying smooth until he gets swept off his heels. Yeah, and I don't even know if that second turn is going to be considered complete either. And You know, he found himself a nice little wave here. It had enough um, face on it for him to get up under the lip and, and, and two turns there. He, but he won't get credit for the second one. He didn't get to ride out of it. So that's going to hurt him a little. But, you know, his surfing is there. He's definitely an amazing surfer. He, and he does. Is the most dangerous, maybe the most dangerous surfer in the draw right now, or at least one of them as far as the performance level that he's bringing? Well, here he goes. Woo! Smash. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get, they give the people what they want, huh, Strider? Yeah, I might have to drop the headset and get down to the beach. <laughs> I'm missing the energy Ooh, down there. Right. You saw this kind of surfing right here, Mitchell. This was insane. Well, I really like the grab rail carve right there by Italo, and then throws in the rotator on a pretty hefty size wave right there towards the end, too. And the claim, obviously, one of the best in the world at that, too. And 
Should be replacing the 7.83, if not very close to it. But just the variation once again, and we talk about him putting in so much time in the gym, it's definitely noticeable with the power turns, Kipes. Yeah. Love that grab rail strider. And then this, full road. Well, you can see his eyes eyeing up the landing as he left the lip line. 17.5 two-wave total. Talk about a severe combination. Typo. We're getting served up this severe combination right now. It's not in the fridge anymore. It's in the freezer. Yeah. <laughs> You can't, it's a nice box. You can't, yeah, I, I'm going to have to agree with you. You can't even get the spoon in the ice cream. The spoon in the ice cream? Yeah, yeah it's, that one. it's cold. And then he's just going to flow on the backhand right here. There's not going to be one of his top two, but he's just having a good time. Yeah, he's enjoying himself, and that's the most dangerous version of Italo. And he's opened up with a 7.83. Then he backed that up, improved upon that with an 8.5, and then... Got a flat nine, and here he goes again, back what? up in the air. And that time here, he uh, has to throw that away. I just, my description of this heat so far, Mitchell, wow. Waida, trying to claw his way back into this heat. It's been all one side. It's been all Italo Ferrero so far. The Indonesian surfer needs at least a 7.5 right now to start turning this thing around hung on to a finish bit untidy <laughs> well there's there is 12 minutes i mean anything can happen the first one's not bad though guys then carves it back and it's really the finish where he struggled both times on his best waves the 2.83 and then this one right here but yeah I, I mean i gotta agree with strider this one's not only in the fridge it's in the ice box right now in the cooler and you know, it's a bummer because Rio up until this point had had at least a seven in each one of the heats he'd served. And he's just struggled to find a good wave so far in this one. This was his best maneuver of the wave. Um, unfortunately, he kind of went flat on the top of the wave after. And it, it didn't give him the opportunity to stay like in the lip vertically all the way around. Uh, that would that could have given him some kind of an elevated score. And the rest of the wave kind of let him down too, uh, just with the wave surface. So... He's gonna get back out there, reset. Something we haven't seen so far today, and it seems like caught another wave too, Kaipo. This guy's been busy. This is already his 11th wave so far in this heat. Yeah. People caught on to it eventually and made him pay with the good use of priority that they had against him. And now it seems like by catching more waves once again, he just finds a rhythm of his own good surfing that always puts him in that headspace of being, hey, like more waves, more opportunities. like. I, I agree with you. Here we go. Rio, nice looking face on that wave, nice and smooth. A couple of big mm. backhand carves. Now this wave on the way to getting Rio, trying to break free of that combination, but it is such a big combination at that 17.5 two wave total that he needs. Again, needs a 7.5 to get out of that combination, Strider. That was close to it. Yeah. If not it, that was yeah. a two beautiful precision turns up into the, you know, really fast. The first one a little cut short, I felt like, but the second one was money. So look, yeah. I mean, that could have been. A... Let's not even go there right now. Let's okay. not let's not jinx this because <laughs> something's gonna happen eventually. The combination was great though. I mean, very powerful right there. A good variation. You too. <laughs> look at this first carve though, off of the bottom strong on the face of the wave right there. I mean, his backhand bottom turn has to be one of the top 10 on tour and I really love the way he's been able to project down the ah. line with that carve and into the lip a couple of times throughout the first few days of competition, Kaipo. I mean, 7.5 is what he needs and it Got seems out like he broke it. it. Yep. Breaking the combination with a 7.87 Rio Waida. You know, it's really interesting. Dive into, you know, his, his vulnerability that he's putting out there for everybody to see. Waida needs to go excellent. This is not an excellent wave for Rio Waida. Five minutes remaining here, and it seems like it'd be a great time to check out a heat recap against Gay Medina in the yeah, final. Yeah, I mean, that was incredible. But so many to choose from. Eight total for Italo for eight CT wins um, for the surfer who's been on tour for nine years. So. Well, 
Italo Ferreira in blazing form, moving into the quarterfinals. Look at the numbers, a 9 and an 8.5 for Ferreira. That's it, Italo. So yesterday you were here super nervous with that buzzer beater feeling. And today you woke up and decided to resolve your problem in less than 10 minutes. How are you feeling about that heat? I decided to surf, you know, that's... Um I talked to Marco before the heat. I was like, I'm, I'm gonna try to like catch a wave, four waves. And um, yeah, I like to surf, you know, like not to be like trying to find a wave and I'm, I'm trying to just like catch wave every single like moment and do my tricks and then yeah, pushing the limit, you know? So that's what I did in the last one. We saw you caught more than 12 waves, I think. How, where do you take so many energy from and inspiration to, to be so energizing in the heat? This is the secret, right here, Red Bull. Um, yeah, I was like, I woke up this morning, I was like, uh, I checked the wave and I was like, so windy, I was like, Jesus. And then the wave was like huge in the morning, and there was like no one in water, I was like, oh, today is perfect. And people in the water like trying to catch a wave, and today was like just the surfers, like the pro surfers, I was like, okay, so let's try to find something. And then I broke my board in the morning, had like a couple little moments, and, and then I saw like one of those hits before, and I was like, Okay, there's some good ramps, there's some good moments, just like trying to find um, like good like movement like around the, um, on, the, on the outside. And then, yeah, 